Hey, good afternoon, Ram fam. We are coming to you live from Memphis, Texas. Welcome to Super Conference this afternoon, where your Ram fans are set to take on the Kent Edward Sun Devils. Coming live from Texas, we'll be right back. All right, folks, we are back and ready for a puck drop here momentarily. Some notable uh, eliminations from the lineup today, yes. Gene. Yeah. Tell us about it, Dustin. So we've got, uh, it sounds like Lindahl is home, uh, not feeling well. Uh, Nagel is home, uh, personal matter. Uh, and we've got uh, Cannon out today as well. So, so two, two notable defensemen away from the lineup, which means we're going to be double shifting players like Marshall Miratori, uh, Bendico. Uh, we, we know Matheny and Rosen are already out and have been out for some time. Uh, we talked to Coach just briefly before the game, and he said he's got some, some other folks ready to step up into defensive roles today. It sounds like uh, we're going to have Anzalone with some more ice time, but this time playing defense instead of forward. And also Jaron O'Neill, who also plays forward, is going to slide back to defense. And, of course, Josh Denis, who always comes and saves our bacon when we're short on defense. So. For one of those players, the knee, he's used to sliding back and playing deep. Yeah. We'll see how Anzalone and, uh, and O'Neill handle it. New position for these guys. Face off one by the Rams, controlled by Marshall and Sun over to the far side boards where it slides back to Denis. He chips it up towards the blue line, but not out. And circling with it out of the zone is Kean Bendico. Kean pickpocketed up just short of the red line, and this punk set all, all the way back down. Denis picks it up, reverses behind the net as a four checker for the Sun Devils comes in. This puck out towards the blue line, dished from Kamrowski off to Bendico again, and he's pickpocketed one more time. Bendico back to pick this puck up on the near side board, centers for Denis. Denis looking up, Anzalone playing it forward right now uh, and fighting for the puck against the board. Here's Bendico in on side, deeks around a man, deeks around another man. His stick's tied up for a moment. He's looking to reverse with this puck, come around towards the high circle, is tripped up, and the puck's sent out, and all the way down, but picked up by a Sun Devil. Overskated a little bit by Denis, and clearing attempt. Whiffed on by the Sun Devil and sent out at, past the blue line by Kian Bendico. Good defensive play by Bendico. Number five shoots and a glove save by Pingry. Number five was called out by coach prior to the game as someone that we have to shut, shut down, correct? Yeah, uh, as coach wanted, number five is out. Folks, video is out right now. I'm currently working at it. Uh, we do have audio, so we'll, we'll go radio version right now with the broadcast, and I will keep working our uh, video issues. <laughs> yeah, sounds good, Matt. Not the players being out, but the audio is good. Thanks. Appreciate that feedback. And, yeah, we're bummed to see those players out as well. Another key to the game that Coach talked about was there's just 12 periods of hockey left in this season. Have fun. Go have fun. Uh, we also talked to uh, some of the parents here, uh, Kim Marshall and a few others that noted that, oh goodness, this is Patterson on a breakaway by himself. Good back check by uh, Kent, but they're gonna call a penalty on this. Looks like it's gonna be a, a potentially a hook. It is gonna be a hook. So Kent will go to the box. 
And the Rams will have a power play with 15.28 left in the first, just a little under two minutes into the game. The Rams get a power play opportunity to face off in the offensive zone. And this will be rare. This Kent Denver team is a good, clean team. They play tight hockey. They're uh, season after season, very good hockey club out on the ice. So the fact that the Rams are getting this opportunity here, I wouldn't expect too many of these. They're going to need to capitalize on it. This is Denise. the neutral zone he does and here comes Patterson Patterson in Deeks out wide and his stick held up for a moment in comes Mendico to try to support and Kent controlling this puck down in their own zone reversing back into the near side corner for number 12 the forecheck of Kamrowski there to pressure the passer and then looks like Denis dumping that puck back in deep again over to the near side corner, and then the point, Kean, excuse me, Landon Mendico shoots wide off of the skate of a Sun Devil. And Patterson checking his man up against the boards on the way out, and the Kent player giving him the business in the back with some extra cross checks as they fell inside the blue line. And 11, no, excuse me, 18, talking some mess on the way out, and they're both gonna go, it looks like. Eighteen trying to wake his way to the bench, pretending that he didn't hear that he was called for that on Sportsman's Mike, but they get him back out and into the box, and so it's going to be matching minors there. They'll offset between Patterson and Eighteen for the Sun Devils, and the Rams still have 57 seconds to go on this power play. It'll be a four on three now. Excuse me, it'll be a five on four because of the matching minors. Pingree steers this puck wide and into the corner. Caleb Steele over to play it, picked up by Kent, and a centering feed goes wide. Denis reverses back for Landon Bendico, who wheels to the near side. Over for Steele again. Steele chips this puck out of the zone. Played back in by 16 for the Sun Devils, and it looks like Landon Bendico sends this puck to the far side for Denis. Stretch pass for Kamrowski, intercepted by Kent. Shot in wide. 12 back behind the net for Kent and into the far side corner. Checked by Kamrowski. Reverses out towards the blue line and cut off there by some significant Rams traffic. There was no going through. Here comes Landon Mendico. Cross ice pass again, red and picked off. Those passes, uh, just Kent's not falling for it. They are there, right there to take care of business. This is Komorowski behind his own net. He's forechecked hard and just about picked off. He made a nifty little bounce off of his own net to get that puck out of his own, give himself some time and space to move. This is Kent wheeling back with it, backhanded out of the D zone and into neutral ice. And Kean, excuse me, Landon Mendico poking this puck back in to the Kent zone. Finally out and in on side. Here comes five. The Scorpion for Kent as Miratori's back to play it. That puck reversed and a quick shot on Pingree saved. That puck right in front, saved again by Pingree and out to Kean Bendico. He steers it out towards the blue line, but it's sent right back in by Kent. This is Miratori for the Rams, moving this puck out towards the blue line, but not quite out. Pinched in by Kent. They possess the puck again, left behind the net and out towards the near side point as 26 for Kent picks it up. Glove, oh goodness. Deflection right in front. And Pingree thought he had it in his glove for a moment. Uh, but that is a Kent Denver goal. 12-29 left in the first. Kent draws first blood and goes up 1-0. Oh, no goal. Oh, they're, the officials are waving this off. I didn't see why. Not sure what happened there, but the officials have waved off this goal, and they want and if they want to face off in the Kent zone. So something, they're facing off in the Kent zone. Something yeah, so went something, wrong down there. Yeah, uh, something deliberate happened to prevent, or I don't know what happened, but yeah. So folks, it remains 0-0, folks. Dropped in Kent Denver's zone. Folks, we're still trying to figure out the video issues, so enjoy 
Mr. Dustin on the radio version. So uh, face off in the Kent zone on the near side circle. It looks like Norris Osborne and Flight out as the forwards. O'Neill and Denis, the defensive pairing. And yeah, I said O'Neill. Uh, Coach is cycling some forwards back to D today with some of the folks uh, out of the lineup, including Olindel and Nagel. And this team will also miss Cannon today and Gavin's uh, offensive ability and also his just strength on the puck. Uh, Gavin's a force to be reckoned with, and so for sure the Rams have to overcome that. O'Neill gets a shot off. It's Whoa. blocked in traffic, but he goes after the puck and gets it down in deep again. Good play by O'Neill to keep this puck in the zone. Osborne comes away with it down in the low corner, and cycling it out is Kent. Back to pick it up in the Rams zone is Denis, who looks to exit it out of the, their zone, and it's caught up in the legs of the Sun Devil. Kent controlling the puck down into the far corner and whipped around near side by Denis. Picked up there by Kent, out to the point. 26 for Kent looking for the puck. Back in to the corner. This is O'Neill trying to play this puck. This Kent team is big and strong as well. They got some big fellows on this crew and a depleted Ramscrod out there just trying to do some work as a shot goes in, bounces off the kick pad of Pingree and he covers up for the save. Faceoff will be in the Rams zone. Missing that opportunity out to the point. Vandal keeps it in, sends it back in, but picked up by Kent, and they are headed back the other way. Pass out to the far side point. Dumped off for number nine for the Sun Devils. Shot in on Pingree, and that one is a goal for sure. That traffic came right in on Duke, and as much as the Rams tried to clear the area, uh, the Kent player able to get a shot off, and one nothing, Kent with 11.09 left in the first. So, <laughs> face off comes to center ice, Komrowski, Bendico, and Anzalone, the forwards. Face off won by the Rams, controlled by the Rams, and Bendico to Komrowski. Komrowski back to Bendico, shot. That one just over the glove of the Kent goalie. Kept in at the point by Landon Bendico. Landon deking with it now. Little confusion between himself and brother Kean about who was going to take that puck. They trip over each other a little bit and Kent sends it back the other way. This puck's on side in the Ram zone now. Down deep is Marshall defending. The Kent player evades her to the opposite corner. And this puck sent out to the far side point shot. Down into the far side circle, number nine for the Sun Devils playing it back behind the net. He reverses back to the far side corner and out to the point. Cross ice pass there, 12 down to the near side top of the circle for five. Gets a shot off, hits Marshall right in the leg and she goes down. Marshall hobbled by that shot. She's gonna make her way to her feet and it looks like Kian Bendico is going to help her. Both Bendico brothers, in fact, now helping Marshall to the bench after taking a shot to the leg. Marshall looks hobbled. I believe it is the right leg of Marshall, and she's out on the bench. So Rams will face off in their own zone. Patterson. Patterson takes that face off. It's back behind the net for O'Neill. O'Neill plays it. Picked up by Kent on the outlet pass all the way across to the far side point and bobbled there by number four for the Sun Devils. Sent back in deep behind the net as Pingree tries to cover up the near side corner of his net. Vying for this puck in the corner is O'Neill. Back out to five. Good deflection of that shot by Buckley, who we're seeing on his first shift of the afternoon. The 9.47 left to go in this period. Outlet pass just over the stick of steel. Tossed back in. 
caught by Buckley out of the air. Buckley sends it back for Denis. Denis back for Buckley. Buckley deeks and sends this puck forward, but this is going to be icing as Cooper was on the south side of the red line, so that puck will come all the way back down for a faceoff. Cooper's first shift, right? That's Cooper's first shift, second shift. Just asking Nita Buckley. I, this is the first time I'd seen Cooper on the ice this afternoon. I guess that was his second shift. I missed the first one. It was a ghost shift. So this looks like Norris, Osborne, Flight, Vandal, and Miratori out for the Rams. This puck down deep and in a scrum, steered out towards the point and sent back in. This is Miratori into the far side corner to play this puck overtaken by a Kent player out to the high slot. Good block shot there by Flight. And that puck goes nowhere. Flight now playing it back into the corner and Vandal up for Flight out to the far side point and kept in by Kent. Rams got to get this puck out of the zone. Reversing the play is 12 for Kent. Evading Osborne who continues to give him chase and around the net and backhand try and Pingry covers up for the whistle. Right now, the Rams just trying to kind of weather the storm. They've got some personnel shortages today, a very, very short bench. When you think about the players that have been moved to defense, to elongate that a little bit, uh, it shortens up the forward bench. And just uh, things not awesome all the way around for Coach Max Club uh, as they're trying to overcome injury and absence here and also play a very, very good Kent Denver Hockey Club. Puck kept out at the blue line by O'Neill, who makes a good play on it. Back to the near side board. O'Neill still working this puck. Good job by O'Neill again to just try to keep this puck out of the Rams zone. In and up by Kian Bendico in on side and down behind the Kent net. Komrowski going to the near side corner for it. He holds up, leaves it for Anzalone, who sends, sends it out to O'Neill. O'Neill gets a shot, and puck sitting right in front. And oh my goodness, O'Neill still working for a shot here. Both Komrowski and O'Neill right in the crease, and the Kent goalie covers up for a save, but good, uh, a little offensive flurry there. Starting to see a little offensive life for the Rams there for just a moment. And Coach Bendico still working uh, with all his cords and cables here, folks, trying to get the picture situation straightened out for you. 7.59 left in the first period. Faceoff won by the Rams and sent back into the sideboards. Anzalone whiffs on a backhanded try to get it deeper, and it's picked up by Kent. Here they come into the Rams zone. Near side, number two, wheeling back around behind the net. And into the far side corner, back out to the far point. Cross ice pass, blue line. And then down to the circle, shot in on Pingree. He steers it back behind the net. Good save by Duke. That outlet pass deflected by a Ram. Still in control is Kent with the puck in the far side corner. They're looking for that centering feed. Can't quite get it. Deflected by, look like Komrowski. Goes back behind the net, takes a hard hit. Trying to work that puck out of his own. Komrowski again to the near side boards. Kent up to the point. Number two, sending it down and deep. And then a rapid one-time shot to the glove side of Pingree, and he makes a save. This puck still in play, and Kent cycling now, down deep into the near side corner. Centering feed again, a good one-time try by five. The captain for the Sun Devils gets a shot off, and Pingree steers it away. This is five again, dishes backwards towards the top of the near side circle. That shot whizzes over the head of Pingree and off the glass. Another shot, but this one defected by Anzalone, who's trying to get out of the zone, but doesn't quite reach the blue line with it. Five in the near side circle. Pick, kick saved by Pingree. Another save by Pingree. And O'Neill goes down back behind the net. Kent just in control of the play right now, cycling at will. Cross ice pass. Picked up by four. Long shot in for Pingree. And Kent still controlling this puck. The Rams kind of on top of each other down in the zone. And this... Puck sent all the way down the ice by Kian Bendico to get a change and a smart play by Bendico just to take the icing and try to get his line off the ice for a moment. So here comes, this appears to be Vandal and Miratori on defense. Buckley, Steele, and Norris 
excuse me, Buckley Steele and Patterson, your forwards. We'll see if this line has any better luck in getting out of the zone with just over six minutes left in the first. Patterson takes this face off. He wins it back to Miratori, who chips it up to the high slot, where Cooper Buckley picks it up. Buckley out to Steele. Steele misses that pass. Miratori in on the, oh, great defensive play by Tate Miratori to poke this puck into the corner and then check his man on the way there to pick it up. Great play. I know for uh, personal, personal knowledge that Tate is not feeling awesome today, but uh, those were two really good plays, a lot of energy in those. Shot in and deflected away by Pingry as Miratori's guard in the back door. Good shot there by Kent, but steered wide by Pingree and good D by 24 for the Rams. This is Buckley out. Buckley centers for Steele. Steele again can't quite catch that pass. That puck sent back in deep for Kent. Muratori in the play it in the corner, and he is able to send it out to the point and out. And here comes Patterson. Patterson out on the breakaway pass by Muratori and over. And oh my goodness, that clogged up. Good, good play by Kent to clog up the middle, and they're headed back the other way. Drop pass, shot, and steered wide by Pinkery. Good defensive play by the Rams, and a good goaltending by Duke. Another shot in, long and wide. And this one over to the near side boards. Here's Jaron O'Neill to pick this puck up. He sends it out of the zone. Good play by O'Neill just to get it out and get it safe. It's all the way back to the Sun Devils zone. They are cycling. Flight on the ice now, along with O'Neill and Osborne. Norris out as well. Osborne, Norris, O'Neill, uh, Flight, and Landon Bendico. Landon hollering at, at uh, O'Neill to stay back on D because this team transitioned so quickly, and he was right. Here they come, and Landon Bendico, the lone defenseman, back to break up that play. Puck back into the corner, near side. Clogging it up is Norris along with O'Neill. Long shot in, bounces out of the glove of Pingree and out. And still controlled by Kent and kept in at the blue line on the near side. And here comes Norris, fans on this exit pass. Another shot, steered out by Pingree. And it's just shot after shot right now by Kent. Uh, but good defensive play by Landon Bendico, a good goaltending by Duke Pingree, keeping this puck out of the net so far. Four check in the corner by Norris, excuse me, back check, uh, trying to steer this puck away from the Kent players. They are cycling very well. Kent just with excellent passing, good catching, uh, and they're just cycling the puck really, really well. Landon Bendico gets this puck. Oh, it appeared to be out of the zone, but the ref says it was on side, and so the Rams ice the puck to catch a break. Folks, uh, at the first intermission, we've got 324 left of the first period. I'm going to have to reboot, so we are look for another live link for the next part of the game. Oh. But uh, I'm going to have to reboot and stop the stream after this first period in 3 minutes, 24 seconds. The Rams take the face off on the far circle of their own zone, back into the corner, O'Neill to play it. Chipped out and to Kian Bendico. Bendico leaves the zone with it. Cut off by number two for the Sun Devils and back into the zone. So every time the Rams make an exit play, Kent's there to read it and kind of pick it off. This is a good hockey club. Anzalone out. Back checking her player. Marshall back behind the net. Slows up and waits. Shot deflected off of the pad of Pingree and over to the near side, top of the circle. Pucks, puck set back in deep, but saved by Pingree, and another faceoff in the Rams zone. I, got, I like the defensive play of the Rams, though. They're keeping Kent Denver to very few minimal shots, keeping him on the outside edge towards the, the uh, border and the boards. Um, and it's they're maintaining a low scoring game. It's 1-0 with three minutes left, two minutes left of the- They're maintaining period. a low scoring game, but yeah. there was a flurry of shots in the it, last two and a half minutes. I, they were shooting at will. I agree with you. They're weathering the storm well, but whew, yeah, they gotta, they gotta shut that shot count down a little bit. It was pretty intense. That puck up and off the netting and into the Kent Denver bench. Uh, and I give, I give Gene all the credit. He's looking down at the, at the computer right now, trying to get the stream going. So I don't think he saw all the shots that I saw, but 
Whew. Yeah, they were getting peppered, but credit to the D yeah. uh, for yeah. weathering that storm and for Pingree making some great saves during the puck away and uh, defensively doing a good job of keeping these pucks from going in the net. He's getting tested. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it's, a, it's very busy on the decor and the goalie right now. That shot high, steered wide by the stick side blocker of Pingree out to the far side point shot in and picked off by Kian Bendiko. Kian the other way for Kamroski. Kamroski dumps it down into the corner. He loses his feet for a moment. Over to the near side corner, picked up by number seven for Kent. Kept in by Miratori. And finally out, Bendiko dishes this puck back to Vandal. Vandal's looking, and he sends a soft pass up to Anzalone. Picked off by Denver, but slapped in to the Kent zone by Kamroski, all the way down and paddled by number one for Kent Denver, the goalie. Kent now in control of the puck on the far side boards and up out of their own zone through center ice to the near side boards, shot down in the feet of Miratori and steered wide by Pingree as it makes its way towards the net. Centering feed, nobody there for Kent. Another shot in and right in front of Pingree and he's gonna squeeze the pads and cover it up. Good save by Pingree. That thing was sitting right in the five hole. Looking at Nita Buckley right now, who's just wide-eyed and shaking her head like this is this is intense. It's a it's a yeah. it's a lot of action for the Rams right yeah, now, especially they're, on the defensive end. Yeah, it's, they are it, back on their heels for sure. But yeah. again, as as Coach Bendico said, weathering the storm. Rams take the face off, win it, controlled. I can't quite see who it is on the near side glass here. It is O'Neal. Finally picked up by Kent and back into the corner. Patterson and O'Neill harassing the puck carrier there. O'Neill again sending it out to the far side point. Dumped back in by 26 for Kent. Picked up by Patterson. Patterson out for Steele. Steele going to the far side. And he is way a Cooper Buckley. He was about a mile offside. Got really excited that Caleb Steele had that puck. Well, he had and some. And decided to head Denver towards players, the net. Yeah, on him. Push him into the offensive zone. So yeah. He was trying to get onside, but. There's a lot of traffic and he was offside. I gotta tell you, with a minute five left in the first period, I, I am impressed that the Rams yeah. are only trailing by one right now. With, yeah. the, de with the depleted lines uh, and, and most of the crew sick right now, yeah. it's my understanding that there was a bottle of cold medicine going around the locker room uh, for a lot of these guys are just really sick and under the weather right now, not to mention the shortened bench. For them to only be trailing by one right now, knock on wood, is, uh, is a credit to the coaching staff and the players. Yeah. This puck down in deep. Played by Kent in the far corner. Denis plays it up and out, and it's going to scoot all the way back down towards the red line. Played by the Kent Denver goalie, so no icing there. Buckley in on the four check to the near side boards, weaved away by number 18 for Kent Denver, who. Played over to the near side boards in the Rams zone, down in the corner, centering feed right in front and deflected away by Denis. Buckley tips it up and out of the zone. He goes off for a change. This puck sent right back in, and here's Marshall back for the puck. Marshall scoots around to the far side. She's looking for an outlet pass. It's going to go right up to the point for a Kent player. Shoots in on Pingree, and Pingree steers it wide for the last shot of the period. And the Rams trail one nothing after one, folks. I got to tell you. I know that they're behind right now, but that period overall was a win. Yeah. They played really solid defense. The goaltending was pretty damn spectacular. Uh, and they were doing things like steering the shooter out wide. Like for overall, that could have been a lot worse. So, you know, usually when coaches talk to their teams, you got to slow down the game, but not slow down the game, if you know what I mean. You right. got to play at the players' levels in order to make sure that your play level, your compete level is there. They slowed their game down to where they can catch passes, push a puck north, and still move forward with momentum. I like that. So whatever they're doing the first period, keep it going, and maybe we can build off the defensive mindset going to the second frame. Yeah. Maybe get a, a few more shots on goal, and who knows? Maybe yeah, get in the back did, of the net. They did have a little offensive flurry over yeah. here for a moment uh, between O'Neal and Kamrossi. Yeah. Nice to see yeah. O'Neal jumping up into the play. Yeah. That kid is playing with some serious courage right yeah, now. Exactly. He's not playing like a JV player at all. He's taking this opportunity, as he has for the last several games, uh, jump up into the play and try to make something happen. Yeah. Uh, along with Kami, along with Bendico, uh, along with uh, the usual suspects 
for the Rams, Patterson and so forth, uh, trying to get that puck on net. So more of that in the second, along with this sound defensive play, might be might be looking at a tie game in the second. I, I agree. I mean, we're playing in Kent Denver's barn right now, so although it's not the big arena that we thought in we Magnus. We thought we were in Magnus Magnus like we were last year, but we're, we're actually in the Magnus practice arena. We're so. in Joy Burns Arena, folks. Still it's, cool. Yeah, Still cool. We're in Denver. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and reboot. Folks, you're going to see the stream end. Look for another live stream link, but this is my plug for, for you guys to hit that like button. I know there's not a lot to like right now, video-wise. But damn, your web stream team is good, right? I'm just saying, especially <laughs> our announcer, the man with the talent, Mr. Dustin Murtori. Cut it His out. His son is playing awesome de defense right now also. As sick as he's feeling right now and under the weather, Tate is playing with gusto. It's Some good stuff from the kid. He's uh, moving his yeah. feet. He's yeah. moving. His stick is active. He's and getting the right And a big check as well, yeah. Positioning sometimes is more important. And uh, folks, look for this next live stream. Uh, oh, and hit that subscribe button so you get the warnings that the live stream is right. up. I'll continue to work these video issues, and we'll be right back. See you in a few. Thanks, guys.